So this is one that I get a couple calls every year, typically from past clients who are saying, Jenny, we're thinking about putting solar panels on our house. Do you think that's a good plan for us? So I always ask them two questions. First of all, how long do you expect to be in your house? The average answer I get is about another three years. Second question, are you paying cash for them or are you financing them? Across the board, everybody has said they're financing them. This is why it's not a great plan. If you are not gonna be in your house long-term, like planning to be there another 20 years, and you're not planning on paying cash. Because right now, the amount of buyers who are calling me saying, I want a house that has solar panels is zero. I've never had anybody call and ask for that. What happens when you put solar panels on your house? I'm going to use a price point of 400,000 because that's where the, these people were. The cost for the solar panels was going to be right around 30 grand. So let's say that if I put a sign in the yard today, I would have been selling that house for 400,000. That's what it's worth with the comps and everything. When they put the $30,000 worth of solar panels on the house, and now there's a lien on that property has to be paid off for them to sell, then they were thinking they could sell the house for like $430, $440, and it doesn't work that way because you just don't get that kind of value for solar panels. In-ground swimming pools are a little bit different because there are people that call and say, we want a house, we're willing to pay more if it has a swimming pool. Solar panels aren't like that, so be careful.